the Runglevin. So nice to see that you've sent us essays for correction. Let's take a look at what you've done here. The first one is about schools, whether they need to only educate or whether they should be entertaining as well. Here's what you wrote. Most of the educational institutions have designed curriculums to suitable for their students refer to physical resources abilities in those countries. My view is that most of the students prefer to combine indoor studies and outdoor entertaining activities together. This essay will analyze both the facets of this proposal before reaching a logical conclusion. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is look at some of the grammar in this paragraph. Starting mainly with this first sentence, I found it rather uh, difficult to understand for a couple of reasons. Take a look at this with me. Most of the educational institutions have designed curriculums and then here, uh, to suitable for their students, refer to physical resources, abilities in those countries. So this as an expression was rather confusing to me. I'm not sure what it means. Are you telling me that they have designed curriculums uh, that are suitable for their students because they... Uh, they include physical activities. I'm really not sure what this is trying to say. Okay, uh, let's see. And then most of the students prefer to combine indoor studies and out, not our door, outdoor, one word and one word uh, together, fine. Um, so what, you said that this is your view, and then you said you will reach a logical conclusion. Now, remember that the essay has asked you, which do you agree with? Are they supposed to merely educate, or should they be entertaining? So, you have told us what students like. You said that students prefer having both. But what's your view, all right? It's really important to include this in the introduction, okay? Rather than just saying you will reach a logical conclusion. Tell us what your position is in the introduction. Okay, so let's move on. Firstly, the entertainment programs are treated as complementary support the student motivations and emotions. This is because the main benefit of entertaining has created social relationships outside a classroom without serious content in a book. For instance, music contests or music shows during the week, sport, competitive, end of the semester, or outdoor camping. Hence, relaxation activities and able to encourage students to attend the classroom more regularly. Okay, we are having some uh, problems, uh, Rungalavan, with your grammar. Okay, um, there are certain places where it's difficult to, to gauge the meaning here. All right, so let's try it again. Um, let's get rid of this the. So firstly, entertainment programs are treated as complementary since they support student motivation and emotions. This is because the main benefit of entertainment uh, is that it creates social relationships outside a classroom without serious content of a book. So what I was expecting then to read in this sentence is how entertainment creates social relationships. Why does this happen? How does this happen? Okay, but instead what followed was a sentence fragment. It's not a full sentence. You wrote music contest or music shows during the week uh, sports competitions at the end of the semester or outdoor camping. That's a fragment. It's not a, a sentence, okay? There's no verb there. And then you said that it encourages students to attend the classroom more regularly. Well, you, this is your conclusion here, but you haven't explained to us how you've come to this conclusion. Here you told us that it complemented student motivation. You told us that it created social relationships. And now you're reaching this conclusion that is kind of unrelated to what you've written elsewhere. Okay, so if an examiner reads this, 
he or she is going to think that there is not one central idea in this paragraph um, and that there's a lot of different ideas but they're not particularly joined together. So let me see if I can come up with a couple of suggestions on how you could have made this paragraph uh, more cohesive. All right, taking all the ideas that you, or at least some of the ideas that you expressed and, and making it a more solidly organized paragraph, okay? So you said that it supports uh, student uh, motivation and emotions. And let's stick to this idea of creating social relationships, okay? You could have said here, for instance, music contests or shows during the week um, or competitive sports at the end of the semester allow students to interact uh, and compete with their uh, fellow students in a um, fun, lighthearted way, okay? Um, hence, relaxation activities uh, are able to encourage students to build relationships with their peers um, even better, okay? So this is what I mean by having a central idea and about having that idea joined, okay? So let's keep going. <clears throat> Secondly, research, it's singular here because it's uncountable. Secondly, research shows that the sole purpose of focusing on education of all subjects indoors, one word with an S, is less efficient um, Okay, let's change the grammar here, all right? So, research shows that focusing on teaching all subjects indoors is less efficient, uh, is a less efficient method for the students to memorize and understand well when their brain has been receiving data continuously. This is because of the physical exhaustion without the. All right, such as brainstorm and difficult questions, uncomfortable seating, rushing on the lecture and refusing with the contents being taught or a lack of confidence to indicate the questions. Okay, this is just what you did in the previous paragraph as well. You've got these um, examples here, but they're not grammatically linked to anything. It's a fragment, there's no verb. So it's difficult to understand what you mean. Now, apart from that, um, I don't really understand some of the vocabulary use you, you've used as well. What does it mean to rush on a lecture or refuse with the contents being taught uh, or a lack of confidence to indicate the questions? So some of these word choices like rushing, refusing, indicate, they uh, create incoherence and it's difficult to understand what you mean. You may want to choose to use some um, less advanced vocabulary, okay, to ensure that your message is getting across, because that's really the most important thing, and then we could worry about getting higher level vocabulary in here, okay? So, therefore, the, I don't know what this means, the soul educate, is unable to boost the quality of learning and create a high rate of non-attendance. All right, again, because of this soul educate word, I just, I'm not clear what you're trying to say. So, to conclude from the examples, plural, and the arguments given, get rid of the R, to conclude from the examples and the arguments given, I firmly agree that more outdoor entertainment programs are attractive and uh, result in more class attendance or result in better class attendance rates rather than indoor teaching. In the future, in the future, get rid of goal, most teachers, uh, will better combine both activities into the classroom to help students be more flexible to progress in the learn. I'm not really sure what this means. Be more flexible to develop learning progress. Uh, how about to help students be more flexible in the learning progress, okay? So maybe that would have helped. All right, we've spent a ton of time on this first essay. Uh, why don't we take a look at this one about the adorable activity with a child? One of the most conspicuous trends in this contemporary society is a colossal upsurge in an adorable activity with a child. 
While it is possible to claim that it can develop better skills and more creativity, comma, I believe that enjoyment during any activities between parents and their children is a direct, no, has a direct effect on children's foundation. Now that's a nice sentence, but you needed to combine these two. This essay will analyze both the facets of this proposal before reaching a logical conclusion. Okay, so uh, again, I would have liked it if you had said, um, to what extent do you agree? Okay, tell us. I mean, do you think that doing an enjoyable activity develops better skills and more creativity, or does reading do this? So you really should address this in the introduction rather than telling us you're going to wait till the end. <clears throat> Excuse me. So firstly, the strategies are the most important keys to developing their children growing progressive together with some zestful activities able to develop children's skills. Okay, so strategies is a word that um, reduces the meaning of the sentence. And then developing their children growing progressive together, again, is an expression that I don't understand. Okay, and zestful is probably not the best word you could have used here. Enjoyable, fun, um, lighthearted, okay? So this is because joining each activity in a practical way creates some questions and needs the answers that parents are responsible. Let me try that again. This is because joining each activity in a practical way creates some questions and needs the answers uh, that parents are, res are responsible for, full stop. For example, kayaking in the river or cycling by the road with parents' supervision makes children learn how to control the equipment uh, in their hands. And this should have been probably apostrophe S, uh, S apostrophe, or maybe not, that's fine. Uh, not so, but as a result, they will know new knowledge and collect more skills. Okay, uh, but what skills, okay? You have to also talk to us about what kind of skills and how you also have to include how this cannot be done with reading, okay? So uh, you can't forget this element of reading that has to be part of this essay. Okay, let's move on. Secondly, the studies have shown that enjoyable activities also offer more creativity to most children than reading, obviously, very, no, than reading knowledge, very obviously. Careful with the grammar here. So offer more enjoyable activities, not offer, but they develop more creativity to most children. Um, let me try it again. Studies have shown that enjoyable activities also develop more creativity to most children than reading does, full stop, does, full stop. The fact is that the practice method has an important key to develop their children growing progressive. Okay, this is the second time you've used this growing progressive and I don't understand it, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't carry a meaning in English. So, uh, let's see. The fact is that the practice method, I'm not sure what you mean by the practice method either. Consequently, the vital skills rather than reading are more practice in the direct field. Okay, uh, you mentioned the word creativity once in this paragraph. You haven't really developed it. So reading this, um, this paragraph, I'm not really sure how doing an enjoyable activity with a child helps develop more creativity because there were no examples here. You didn't talk to me about drawing with your child and you didn't talk about, um, you know, maybe singing songs with your child uh, help develop creativity or writing stories with your child and how this develops different skills and more creativity and reading cannot do this, okay? So um, that needed to be worked on. In the view of the argument outlined above, the benefits of an enjoyable activity with a child are indeed too great to ignore. And, in, and my opinion is that the parent should take 
chances to do plenty of activities with the children more frequently. This will be a strong family relationship foundation for the next generation as well. All right, well, that was nice. Okay, um, that read clearly and um, I liked it. Um, but the rest of the essay, as I've mentioned already, has a lot of areas that are just incoherent, whether it's because of the vocabulary, primarily the vocabulary, actually, and then some grammar as well. So I want you to work on these um, areas that I talked about in this correction. I'd like you to correct these essays, okay? I also want you to create an error correction list where you write down the mistakes and the next each mistake, what the correct version would be. Okay, and then the third thing you need to do is send us a new set of essays applying all the things that we talked about today, okay, and what you've been learning along in the course. So go ahead and send us those three things in your next email, and we'll be waiting to hear from you, okay? So good luck.